Hi everybody, we're working through the quadratic functions and equations review and we're looking at question 12 which says write a quadratic function in vertex form with and they give you some information here. So the first of all we got the vertex at the origin and passing through 2, negative 5. Okay, so y is equal to a x minus p squared plus q. If the, ver the vertex is at the origin then I can tell you right now it's got to look like this. y equals x squared. At the origin means p and q are both going to be x. Sorry, 0. p and q are both going to be 0. Now what I got to do is I got to make sure that what I'm left with here is going through the point 2, negative 5 and that means affecting the stretch here. So 2 is my x coordinate, it's that x coordinate. Negative 5 is the y coordinate, it's that y coordinate. And you should be aware that, that look everybody, when I give you this point here, okay, this is not p and q. I mean p and q always refers to the vertex. This is always x and y that I'm giving you. Okay, and because you can tell really quickly whether people really understand the relationship between the, the equation and, and the grid uh, when they when they start to substitute stuff into the into the equation here. So negative five is going to equal to a times two squared. Two squared is four, and when I divide it, I get negative five over four is equal to a. Now that is not the final answer. You need to put that together in this form to get the final answer. So my answer is y is equal to negative 5 quarters x squared. That's what I'm looking for. The final form of the equation should have x and y in it because it should be a relationship between the, the independent variable and the dependent variable. It, shouldn't, it should be obvious.